I am going to share with you the best of my knowledge and abilities to calibrate your display on SDR. And I am not an expert TV master calibrator. I do not have a colorimeter, okay? I started learning about this stuff less than a year ago. And what I'm going to show you on this video is very simple. It is just using two test patterns only to make sure that your display is showing you all the detail possible on SDR. And also, if you want to increase the color saturation to get more vivid colors, you want to know that you are not increasing the colors too much and they are clipping and the TV is not showing you all the detail, the TV or the monitor, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this video is because when I was comparing the LCD monitor with the plasma, the OLED, the CRT, I realized that I didn't give this LCD monitor enough love, okay? It was clipping everywhere, it was a mess, and I didn't calibrate it at all with what I know, okay? And now it is much, much better. So this is very simple, very, 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 very simple to do. You go to YouTube and you type in test clipping patterns. I'm gonna share with you a couple uh, clipping patterns that you can use, but you can double check and triple check with multiple clipping patterns just to make sure that the values, the settings that you have on your display are the best, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. So I am using this uh, test pattern, which has the whites and it has the near black detail. And what you have to do on your display is to go to the contrast setting. So the contrast setting on SDR is going to clip the whites and also the colors. So you want to increase or decrease that contrast setting so you can see all the whites and you do not want to increase that contrast beyond the point where these whites are starting to disappear. Okay? And there are a lot of test patterns like this on YouTube. So just go to the contrast setting of your display, for example. Let me go here. This is a Pixel uh, gaming monitor. So I'm going to go here to the contrast setting. And I have the contrast in 60. Okay? So if I increase the contrast to 61, I am clipping the whites. Okay? And as a consequence, when you're playing a game, and you look at the sky or the clouds, they disappear, okay? They just don't show you the detail. That detail that is very bright is not going to be showing you that. So that's very important that you make sure that that contrast setting is perfect, okay? You're not clipping details and colors. So now if you have an LCD screen, you also have a brightness setting. And the LCD is not going to give you perfect blacks, okay? It's just what it is. So you have to pick your poison. Do you want to push a little bit more brightness and make the blacks uh, worse and less deep? Or you want to increase it and get more uh, full screen brightness? You have to find out that middle ground, okay? There's no way to get perfect blacks on the LCD, so you don't want to decrease that backlight power too much, okay? So as you can see here, I increased it a little bit, so I, I was able to get, uh, you know, enough brightness. So brightness 35, that was the setting that I use here on this TV. So now the colors, how you can get the color saturation. So if you compare here the plasma TV with this, a gaming monitor is not even close. The Plasma TV looks so much more beautifully saturated, okay? This is not accurate at all. Absolutely not accurate, but it just looks wonderful. <laughs> it's just 
amazing looking. I absolutely love the colors on this plasma TV. The saturation is just incredible. And I am not cranking off the saturation of this, pla of this plasma whatsoever. And I'm going to show you how I check that this saturation is, uh, is good. It's not super uh, high. So you see, I am decreasing this color saturation to 42, okay? The default is 50, <laughs> which is even more colorful. But even with this color saturation, I'm gonna show you also on this uh, LCD. Even with this color saturation, I open this color test pattern, which I'm going to share on this video. I'm gonna share in the, in the description of this video. And this is what you're going to use to make sure that if you increase the color saturation, you make sure that you are not clipping the colors. So you have the reference color here, red, green, and blue. And you want to increase that color saturation as much as, much as you like. We're not talking about getting an accurate picture. You cannot get an accurate picture without a color emitter and without you know, the equipment and the programs to, to test the TV. With your eyes, you cannot get an accurate picture. The best you can do is try to match another display. And that's what I am doing here with the plasma. The plasma for me is this, this is a picture that I like and this is what I'm trying to match. So basically using this color clipping pattern, go to your color settings. So I go here to this monitor color setting and then I increase the saturation from the default 50 to 51. So now if I increase this color saturation one more click, I am clipping the colors. I cannot increase it. <laughs> and I want this, this monitor to be more colorful, but I cannot increase the saturation. I cannot do it. If I go here 52, boom, these reds are disappearing here. It's not showing me the details. So I cannot do it. <laughs> this is the maximum saturation. I cannot do it go back this this uh, interface <laughs> is very clunky and I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of practice with it okay 51 that's all I can do that's all I can do that's it so does it matter if you have instruments to calibrate this LCD screen of course not <laughs> this is not going to get much better than this it's not gonna bet. You might get an accurate white balance or something like that. It's not gonna make any difference. And I think the best you can do with a monitor like this is just to create an ICC profile, which makes no difference for the games. The games are not color managed applications. So it makes absolutely no difference to play games. On the Plasma TV, I did the same. And, but I can increase the color saturation on the Plasma TV and the colors are not going to clip. But yeah, I do not want to increase it even more because it is very, very, very highly saturated like that. And actually, what I did with the Plasma was to match the LG C1 on SDR with the, with the Rec. 709 color space. So basically, the LG C1 on SDR clamps the color gamut to Rec. 709, so it is more accurate. And the Plasma TV doesn't. The Plasma TV is going beyond Rec. 709, out of the box. So you want to reduce that color saturation to not go beyond the colors that SDR is supposed to have. But if you like it, just crank it up and make sure that you are not going too far by using that test pattern, okay? So that's it, <laughs> that's it. You can also use a near black test pattern like this. I have this near black test pattern in the game. Let me uh, turn off the lights here. So you might be able to see it better. Well, I, I, I don't have the ISO of the camera in automatic, so it's not going to adjust automatically. But yeah, you can use another near black test pattern. So my recommendation is to use multiple test patterns to make sure that you get the best uh, settings. Also, for
for the plasma tv on my pc i have to use rgb levels in limited i have to use limited on the nvidia control panel and limited on the tv and the reason is that's the only way i can increase this contrast high because if i have full range let me show you if i have full range on the nvidia control panel and full range on the tv i cannot increase this contrast beyond 50 because the whites are going to clip the whites are going to start clipping on the plasma okay so when i have limited range on the nvidia control panel and limited on the tv then i can increase that contrast beyond 50 and i can actually increase it to 91 and I can still see all the bars here that I'm supposed to see, okay? So that's very interesting, and that is not something that I see with this monitor or with the LG C1. I don't know why that happens on the plasma, but check that out too. Go full, full, so full on GPU, full on your monitor or your TV, and test that white clipping, and then try limited. And you want to go with the option that allows you to push that contrast higher so you can get more brightness, especially on a plasma TV. So yeah, this is the best of my knowledge and abilities. If you know better, let me know. I am all ears, okay? I am not an expert. But I think that with this advice that I gave you, you will make sure that you can see the shadow details. So, get some near black test patterns so for example this monitor doesn't have black level control so I, there's nothing i can do really but the monitor is doing a good job uh, just with the factory settings it is able to show me all the detail near black it looks like the black levels are very bad but it's at least showing me all the details so but on the plasma i do have black level control so if your tv has black level control double check a near black test pattern and make sure that you can see everything that you're supposed to see on that near black test pattern and so yeah with these settings you can at least make sure that you see the shadow detail that you're not clipping the highlights that you are able to see the clouds you're able to see the sun everything that's bright you can see the separation between the sun and the and the clouds and if you want to crank up the color saturation, you also, you can also tell that you are not increasing it way too much, okay? Because if I, like I show you on this monitor, if I increase the color saturation past 51, I am clipping colors and, and clipping details. I cannot do it. <laughs> I wish I could do it. So if you are like, man, I want... A vivid picture I want a colorful picture you cannot <laughs> you have to get a different monitor a different display so if, when you test with those patterns you can at least make sure that you're not going beyond what your display can do okay so that's not going to give you an accurate picture but I guarantee you it's going to give you the best picture you can get without calibration, without knowing more, without having equipment. And in terms of the colors and getting a colorful picture, if you don't care about accuracy, you can at least make sure that you are increasing the colors to a point that is not destroying the picture quality. Okay. As you can see here, this looks good, but the plasma is just wow <laughs> the colors on the plasma it's not even close so yeah that's my my last point if you have your lcd monitor that's okay and you know enjoy it I, when you hear me say oh this is trash and all of that i don't say that with bad intentions okay my point is don't pay 300 dollars for an lcd monitor get a plasma tv for a hundred dollars or even if you get a very good one, even $200, if you get the best of the best, I would pay $300, no problem, for a plasma TV. Because the picture quality is so much better than any of these LCD monitors. 
and it's fantastic for gaming because of the motion clarity. When you move the camera, it looks like 240 FPS. When you pan the camera like this slowly, it looks like 240 FPS. It's just fantastic. And the input lag is good. See? Some input lag. Let's see if I can notice which one is better. I think that the, the LCD is faster. But it's so small, man. So small. And that's going to depend from different TVs. This one has a game mode. So yeah, try to get a plasma TV that's in good conditions, that doesn't have burning, and it's not completely worn out. And at 1080p, 60 hertz, it's going to look very good, man. Very good. And also you don't need that much graphics card power to run that. So yeah, of course, if you have the money and you want to push the best of the best, get an OLED. Get 4K, 120 hertz, get a C1 or a G1 with black frame insertion. But that's very expensive with a high-end gaming PC. If you have a PS4, um, you know, an Xbox, something like that, and you just need 1080p, 30 or 60 sometimes, get a plasma. Uh, or, or a lower-end gaming PC. Or you spend all the money you had on the gaming PC and you have to wait until you can get that OLED, get a plasma TV just as a transition. You're not going to, to regret so yeah, when you hear me say, oh, LCD is crap, it's trash and all of that, I don't say that with bad intentions. My point is, this is so much better and cheaper too, okay? So, but yeah, I think I got the best picture I can get on this, on this um, LCD by changing the settings and it takes me like, you know, just a moment, check, that near black, white clipping, and color clipping. That's it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and if you have any questions.